Hey guys, Cracker Barrel 1000 finally here with a tutorial on how to use my motion for It's Been So Long by the Living Tombstone. It's kind of complicated, but at the same time, not really. Try to follow along as best you can, and I'll do my best to answer any questions that you all may have related to this video or motion. First, you're going to want to open up PMX Editor, the English version, which I have zipped up and put in the description for you to use the same one that I have, just to make things easier on everyone. Once you've loaded up your model, make sure that the English is selected on each tab that you see me go into here, so that you'll have no problem reading each of the bones for later part of this tutorial. Then you're going to want to go into Edit, down to Plugins at the bottom there, system, and then there should be something called IK Maker X. Click on that and it should open up this window. We won't mess with the IK shoulder and wrist checkboxes, but you'll want to do that for the models of Chica and the marionette. Because that's what they have, but don't do that for this model. Great, now you have the IK bones for the motion. But we're not done yet, so... Since I decided to be the complicated person that I am and change up the parent bones for them, you're going to want to go to your model and select the main bone used for moving your model around, but not their feet. The bone should be highlighted in the tab, and be sure to remember the number for that bone. For me, it was 1. Now go to IK arm, left, right, whatever, arm IK, whatever it says there, and change their parent bone to one, or whatever number your model's bone was. There! Now you're done with that! That wasn't so hard, was it? <laughs> Good, because we're still not done. I've put a link in the description for the version of MMD that you'll need, so make sure that you have that downloaded and up and running before you, you know, open up the program to put your models in and all that jazz. Go to frame. 4,709, near the end, where you'll see her arm is in not the right place. It's really easy to fix, don't worry. On that frame, go down to Model Manipulation, where you'll load the models and click OP. Don't worry about the stuff that I've scribbled out, that's already taken care of for you. Under Subject Bone, you're going to want to select Arm IK Left, or Arm IK under slash L. The target bone model should just be whatever you've named your model. And then the target bone won't be the same as mine, but you'll want to put it as the name of the bone targeting the character's head. To find the name of that bone, just click the bone of your model and it'll tell you beside the name of your model in the top left corner of the preview screen. Mine reads, Null 18. Once you've got all that done, click OP register and you'll be done and can exit out of that window. You'll have to do the same for Golden Freddy on both arms, attaching them to the upper backbone, but if you don't have an upper backbone, just attach them to the lower back or just the backbone. And then the marionette you're going to have to attach to the model who is singing. Um, I think you're going to want to attach, I think it's the right um, arm AK. Uh, arm, <laughs> arm IK bone, the the right one, because um, to the singer, let me rephrase that. You're going to want to do the same thing for the marionette on the right arm, but you're going to want to connect it to um, to the, whoever who is singing the, the left shoulder. <laughs> You're going to want to do the same thing for the marionette model, but for the right IK arm, and you're going to want to attach that to the left shoulder. Only if you're going to use the marionette, because the marionette is optional. So yeah, that's basically what you do, and you know, so now you can use this motion properly. Yay! Yay! Um, yeah, hopefully this helps you use the motion to create beautiful videos. I can't wait to see what you're all going to do with it, so have fun, take care, bye!